Welcome to Tale Tinker, where stories come to life. Discover magical adventures, friendly characters, and endless imagination, one tale at a time. Becky slumped over her math homework, frowning. I hate math, she muttered, crossing her arms. Why do I even need to learn it? It's boring and it doesn't matter. Her mom sighed, but didn't argue. Becky stared out the window, wishing she could spend her afternoon outside instead of stuck inside with numbers. Suddenly, a soft, glittering light filled the room. Becky sat up straight as the light swirled together and formed a tiny, glowing creature with shimmering wings and a sparkling dress. Who and what are you? Becky gasped. I'm Numina, the magical math sprite, the creature said with a smile. I heard you say math is boring, but I think I can change your mind. Becky frowned. Good luck with that. Numina's wings fluttered as she flew closer. Come with me and I'll show you how math is everywhere and how magical it can be. Before Becky could respond, Numina waved her tiny hands and the room disappeared in a swirl of golden light. When the light faded, Becky found herself in a lush, colorful garden, flowers of Every shape and size bloomed around her. Look closely at the petals, Numina said, pointing to a bright sunflower. Becky leaned in and noticed the seeds formed a perfect spiral. That's pretty, she admitted. Oh, it's not just pretty, it's math, Numina said. That spiral follows something called the Fibonacci. Fibonacci sequence, that is. Numbers create this pattern, and it makes the flower grow strong and beautiful. Really? Becky asked, intrigued. Oh, yes, let's see more, Numina said, waving her hands again. This time, they landed on a sandy beach. The waves sparkled in the sunlight, and Becky spotted a tiny little she shell lying near her feet. She picked it up, marveling at its delicate spiral. That is the golden ratio, Numina explained. It's a special math pattern that makes things balanced and beautiful. You'll find it everywhere, in seashells, flowers, and even galaxies in the sky. Becky held the shell closer, amazed. So math? makes things beautiful? Exactly, Numina said with a grin. Let me show you one thing more. With a flick of her wings, Numina transported them to a buzzing beehive. Bees darted back and forth, their hive making a perfect little hexagons. Why are the bees home shaped like that? Becky asked. Because hexagons are the strongest and most efficient shape for storing honey, Numina said. Even bees use math. Becky's mouth fell open. I never knew math was so cool. Numina chuckled and waved her hands one last time, bringing them back to Becky's room. Math isn't just numbers written on a page. It's the magic that holds the whole world together. Next time you see a flower, a shell, or even the stars, you'll know math helped create it. Becky looked down at her workbook. I guess I'll give math one more chance. If it's magical enough for flowers and bees, maybe it's not so bad after all. Numina smiled. That's the spirit? From that day on, Becky started seeing math everywhere, and she didn't hate it anymore. Thank you for joining us on today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Math is really magical. Please subscribe and ring the little bell so you don't miss our next great story. Bye!